I am still in my hotel room. However, crafting therapy can take place anytime. So this is our next crafting therapy session. It is number two, August 20th, 2022. And today we are going to create a really beautiful sunflower fall decor with Dollar Tree items. So it's a Dollar Tree DIY, step by step together. And we're working through taking our minds off of everything. So let me explain to you what crafting therapy is. Crafting therapy is just us getting together, crafting, taking our time, taking our minds off of the routine, taking our minds away from the issues of life, and putting a focus on creativity, uh, relaxing, and enjoying doing something um, other than thinking about problems. And so I started crafting therapy to be a way to take our minds off of all those things and just focus on what uh, we enjoy doing, which is crafting. So it's very therapeutic to take this time away from everything else going on in our lives and spend a few moments or hours just doing something that we love. So today for crafting therapy, I shared what we're going to be doing, and then I'm going to offer a daily deal, which I will show you at the end what the daily deal today will be, and also the number available, because it is limited availability. So let me, uh, sh let's get started with our crafting therapy as I tell you the things that you need for this session. For this crafting therapy, you will likely use a pair of scissors. Um, you will use a foam brush, some tacky glue, two of these little pallet wooden pallets from Dollar Tree. You may need some wire cutters. You're going to use some hot glue and then to do the decoration, you're going to need a napkin. I'm going to use this napkin from Tuesday morning. And then whatever you want to decorate with, these are all pieces of flowers from Dollar Tree. These sunflowers came in a packet like this. You can also get the little ones. I wasn't sure what I wanted to put on quite yet, so I'm just gonna be creative today. Um, using some little flowers or some leaves, can cut the leaves, some little berries. And then the final part will be uh, just a metal thankful. You can also paint it if you want to. I'm not gonna paint mine today. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to take my two palettes and I'm gonna glue them together end to end. So I wanna line them up really well so that they are even. Now, um, you can use wood glue and put clamps on these if you want to. I think I'm just going to use some hot glue and I'm just gonna put it on each of the uh, pieces of wood here. And then I'm going to put my two pallets together like this. Now I wanna make sure I wipe all the excess glue off because I don't want bubbles onto my uh, top here. So as this is drying, I'm gonna wipe that off. Now it's not too hot, but I wanna get that wiped off. And then I'm gonna turn it over, push it together more firmly and wipe off these extra drips. It is really not hot, but if you have a high temp glue gun, don't do that until you know that it is cooling. Once it's cooling, then you can get this excess glue off of there. I'm gonna make sure that you're lined up here. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is remove these labels. Okay, now I want you to flip this over once it's nice and dry and it holds together really well. We're not gonna be putting a lot of pressure on this. 
So it will be just fine glued together like that. Now, the thing I want you to do while we work on this project today is to think of something that you're thankful for and post it in the comments below. Just something you're thankful for. For instance, if you're thankful for your family or your husband or your children or your puppy dog or your kitty cat, what are you thankful for? And so we're gonna move on to the next step and I'm gonna take tacky glue. Now, many of you probably use Mod Podge. If you'd like to use Mod Podge, that is entirely up to you. I'm choosing tacky glue because I don't want any stickiness and tacky glue will dry um, without the stickiness. And your napkin. You're going to want to pull your napkin apart and that's what we're gonna use to cover our wood here. That's why I'm not painting it too. Also, the back doesn't need painted. I like this rough, unfinished look. Now, before I do anything with my napkin, because we're gonna pull that apart, I'm going to take my tacky glue and I'm going to just put some here on my mat, my paper here, and I'm gonna take my foam brush and I'm gonna paint these um, palette wood pieces, these planks, really well. Now you can, um, you can not put the wood on and put it directly on like this if you want to, but you want to make sure that you spread that out really well, just like this, but you want to make sure that it gets from end to end on each plank. That's why I say you want to make sure you get enough. And then we're going to let that get a little bit tacky while we pull our napkin apart. So as you can see, I'm just going with this method because it's going to be just a tad bit faster. So did you decide what you're thankful for? What are you thankful for? Well, I'm thankful for you. You guys are the best YouTube family a person could ask for amazing all right I feel like I've covered that let's go over this this one and this one one more time just to make sure these are covered and let them get a little bit tacky okay we're gonna let that get a little bit tacky while that's getting tacky I'm gonna take my napkin and mine just came apart by itself but really what you would want to do let me make sure there's not another layer on here because Sometimes there are multiple layers on your napkins. Let's make sure this is just one. You have to be just a little bit patient and go ahead and pull that back layer off of your napkin. You only want the layer with the design on it like this. You want this layer design. Now I can see that this does not fit just exactly right and I'm gonna cut this and I want it to fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it to fit. So I'm gonna cut down this fold here. Okay. And then I'm going, and I'm gonna take it off because that, that camera's on there. I mean, the, the wood plank is dry. So I've got this piece and this piece, which are the end pieces. So I'm gonna lay this on here where it's tacky and let's see I want to get it right on the end here and you just want to lay it on there and my suggestion would be to smooth it from the outside to the inside okay and you're gonna want to see where those planks are in there. So lightly just put your finger over that. Now, if you like the look where it pokes through, you can definitely poke it all the way through and cut the, you know, cut it if you want to. Okay, so we've got that side going. Take this side. 
and put it down as well. Do the same thing. And I told you on crafting therapy, we're not skipping around. We're gonna work together through this whole thing. So just rubbing my finger right there where that is. Okay. Then we're gonna take our napkin and put a piece for here, okay? Now we're letting this hang over while, and then we're gonna go put some more glue on there. But Okay, so I can see that I need this middle piece here. So I'm gonna cut a piece to go there. And all I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut a piece straight up the middle of this, this napkin. Now you can use whatever you have. If you have a larger napkin and you wanna do it that way, um, you know, if it fits the whole thing, that's great. But this one's gonna go here. So I'm just gonna lay that there. And there's enough glue on there to hold that bottom part. And I may have to add some where it's overlapping. Okay, so you can see where that overlap is right here. So I'm gonna pull that up a little bit. And I'm gonna take my glue I'm gonna put a little piece of glue, little bit of glue here. And I'm gonna put that on this napkin on this underside. And then I'm gonna take this side. And just like you would with Mod Podge, you're going to glue down your napkin on the top as well. So let's do this other side first where it's coming together at a seam. We're gonna do this on the whole side here where it's coming together. And then we're gonna take the glue and come over these edges. So I'm gonna put some more glue here. Okay. Now, again, I'm using tacky glue because I don't want the um, glue to be sticky when it finishes drying. Okay. Okay, so now what I need to do is take my tacky glue and go gently over my napkin on the whole thing. And then we're gonna let it dry. This is gonna be so pretty. So did you decide what you're thankful for? Now, one thing that I'd like for you to do is look in the comments of something that someone else is thankful for and comment to, to, about their thankful, um, their item. Like for instance, if they say, I'm thankful for my friendships, then you, then you can comment on theirs and say, I'm thankful for your friendship on YouTube, or I'm thankful that I have friends also, you know, and just be kind and share something with someone else. All right, so now I'm gonna go over this other side and your napkin may get a little wrinkly, but that adds to the texture of the whole thing. If you don't like that, use less glue because it's just soaking in the moisture from the tacky glue. If you find that you didn't put enough glue on the underside, then go under and add some more. Okay? All right, so I'm just gonna go over this middle one more time. Now, this part that is hanging over we're gonna we're going to get that off of there with a um, either a blade or some scissors. If your napkin is damp enough, you can wipe that off. I mean, um, you can pull that off um, just by pulling on the napkin like this, and then you can come in with your glue and finish that edge just like that. So then you could come up here and finish the edge like this. So as you think of things you're thankful for, as you comment on other folks, uh, things that they are thankful for, um, just, you know, think about, think about that as you're being creative and who would you make something for 
that you're thankful for? You know, would you make a thankful gift for someone? Would you uh, gift maybe this creative decor piece for fall to somebody? Maybe, maybe you would. All right, so just like that. Now this is going to have to dry. So you're gonna want to let this dry and I'm gonna let this dry a bit and come back to it. Okay, once your planks, your, your um, palettes are dry, you have this beautiful background to create your thankfulness on. And I love it. The tacky glue dries and it is not sticky at all. It's wonderful. So now you just wanna add a little bit of what you want to decorate it with. Now I have all these little pieces here you can see and some little 3D sunflowers that I can add to that. But the main part that I want for this one is thankful. Now I have harvest and I have welcome. Um, not everyone wants to put thankful. Maybe they wanna put harvest on theirs or maybe they wanna put welcome on theirs. But you can see how it's perfect to fit on there, just the right size. I personally, I am gonna do thankful. And it's easy to get it straight, just saying, because you have your palettes as your guide. So isn't that beautiful? Now what I would suggest, because you don't want your flowers or your decorations to, um, you know, be in the way to put your focal point, which is your metal word, I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my metal word. Now you can glue with your tacky glue, but that's not really the best for metal, but you can do it. I'm just gonna use some hot glue I'm gonna put it on the main parts of my word, the little long pieces. Um, if it does come off, just to let you know, I can always re-adhere it. And let me put just a little bit here. I don't wanna glue my fingers to it. And now, hot glue is hot, Ouch. just like that. And you saw it here, folks. And I don't want it there, I want it down just a little bit. All right, here we go. Now if you have little pieces of glue, you can use a blow dryer to get those off. And there we go. So you could just leave it just like that and it's adorable. But I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue here because I want a little more stability. And I'm gonna pull that off. And that was hot. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. All right, so I want to decorate it a little bit more. Um, I do have these little sunflowers. I'd like to make some 3D here. Um, I also have these little flowers that's kind of intertwined here that I could, this is a cute sunflower too that I could put on, but I don't want this piece sticking on there. So what I would do is take my scissors and I will cut this piece off, make it as flat as you can. And then you can glue that on there. One thing that I like to do is if I'm gonna use that one, then I may want another one just like it. Maybe I'll put one here and put some leaves, but I like to, to play with my flowers a little bit before I commit to what they're going to look like. So I'm gonna take some of these green leaves and cut these off here. Or maybe I can just pull that and then cut them. So you'll do what you uh, want to do. 
So like I said, crafting therapy, we're gonna keep going until we finish our project together. And we're not rushing this. So we're taking our time. So if I wanted to put three leaves under here and put that there, oh, I really like that. So I could do the same here. I could just take two leaves and put under that flower. Then I could take some of these other flowers. I have these little, little ones here. If I wanted to put around it, if I like that. I don't know if I do or that much, but we'll see. And then I have these little, little sunflowers. I do like these a lot. And I may take them off the stem. And just, I don't know what I, what I want to do. I don't know that I need them. I could put them up there though with that flower. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe I could put, I like that one down there like that. So I think I'm not gonna overdo my thinking on this one. And I'm gonna take these little flowers and take the metal piece off. So I don't need a wire cutter to do that. But I had the wire cutters just in case. And I'm gonna take this one and cut this off. All right, so what I'm gonna do with these are glue them inside those so there's just a little bit or, or you know, like a little round there, a little round there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna glue this. I'm just gonna put a little glue here. I don't wanna glue my fingers on my leaves and I'm just gonna put my leaves there. Now, if you want more glue, you could put tacky glue. If you want more uh, hot glue, the hot glue just helps it to stay in place. And then you could add your tacky glue because it takes a little longer for your tacky glue to dry. So we're thankful, we're commenting on being thankful. So I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for my husband and my son and my family. I'm thankful to be able to have the opportunity to have a YouTube channel and to be able to share my inspirations with you all. So now I'm gonna take this flower and I'm gonna put glue on the back of it and I'm gonna glue it down here, this top corner. And I'm gonna take this flower and I'm only gonna glue a little bit towards the center on it. It's pretty thin. Push that down a little bit, there we go. Then I'm gonna take this little sunflower. I'm not gonna put it in the middle of that flower, but I want to cover up that center piece that's not got anything in the middle, which I have these little berries, I guess I could put there, but just like having a little bit of color. So I put another one over here on this other side here. There. And I'm going to take this one and put a little here. And that looks really, really good there. And then I'm going to do this one on this side. I'm gonna take my leaves. I'm just gonna put a little blue here, like I did on the other side, and put my leaves down. I'm gonna take a little tacky glue and glue the leaf all the way down. But that hot glue is holding it in place. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna glue this down. And I really don't think it needs very much more, if anything. But you could add as much as you like to your sign. Okay, so I think that's beautiful. Um, I don't have a hanger for it, but you could hang it. 
You could um, put it on a stand. You could make a stand for it in the back if you wanted to. Um, you could uh, put it in the middle of your table. So this is the fun craft for the day. So I just put a few little decorations around it, but this is just a beautiful DIY for fall, thankful. And it's $1, $2, or $2.50. And then this is in one package of three. And then I had the rest. So the napkin I had on hand, but you could use any colorful napkin that you like. So really inexpensive and beautiful. I hope you enjoy this crafting therapy session. And I just want to show you what will be in the daily deal. So the daily deal will consist of the supplies you need to create this beautiful um, decor piece with the exception of the hot glue um, or water if you need water or wire cutters, that kind of thing. But it will include a, um, a tube of crafty, ta um, it will include a small bottle of tacky glue, two of these little wooden pallets. You will get one metal word. It might not be thankful. It might be harvest or welcome. You will get a couple of flowers to go with your sign, but you could always add whatever you like. You will get a foam brush and of course the napkin with the sunflowers. So pretty cool daily deal, I think. And I have three daily deals. If you'd like a daily deal, they will be $12. So think about that and you can claim one of the daily deals in the comments below. It is first come first serve. And I will email you with the uh, information. So if you're interested, um, I'll need your email of how to pay for it and get your daily deal. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm thankful for you and I hope you had a great crafty session today. Crafting therapy session, crafting therapy session. And next week, we're going to have some fun again on Saturday.